All right, so the purpose of this little video is to uh, demonstrate how to crop a, a lot of photos at the same time. Now, the only reason that this is really going to work is because uh, on this shot I was taking care to have the players centered up uh, because of the shooting conditions and also because I had a constant focal length on my lens. The idea is that we're going to select all of the photos that uh, are going in like to the left and then we'll crop one of them and then we'll crop we'll copy the uh, de developing settings over so that it goes to other photos so these first two here are just demonstrations of how I you know what I what I want these crop to be like so this one looks like it's going to the left Here's another one. That one's going to the right. Um, scroll down a little bit to find some better examples. Let's pick up that one there. And remember to do this you hold down your control key as you select them. That's enough. So you'll notice down here we have four selected. Now I come over here to the left or to the right side of the screen you'll see that we have uh, some keywords in here already. One of them is direction. So double click on the word direction and type in here left. Now we go up here to our filters, click on the text. By the way, if you do not see this bar here, uh, forget it. Here, you click on text, and now type in left. And that brought up all of the photos that have left as a keyword. So let's select this one. And I'm going to bring this one into the developer module. Let's get rid of this. We don't need it. And I'm going to crop it. Making sure that the aspect ratio is locked. I'm going to crop that something like this. So first I'm cropping it to the approximate image, the approximate size, and then the next thing I'm doing is I am uh, positioning the, the player. Hit return or hit the crop overlay button again. Now at this point I go back to the library module. You see that one is showing us cropped. Here I right click and I select develop settings. I'm going to copy settings. I'm going to turn everything off with the exception of process version, calibration, and the crop. Now I'm going to copy. Now I'm going to click that first one, hold down my shift key, and click the last one. So now all three are selected. And now I'm going to click, right click, develop settings, paste settings. And they've all been cropped. Now the next stage to this would be to go through and make some minor adjustments. So you can go back to the develop module, click on the crop overlay, and that one's fine. Come over here, 
second one. I might come a little bit on that one. And you see I'm moving between them by clicking on the icon in the, in the tray here. The reason for that is because if I use my arrows to try to go back and forth, I'll move the picture instead. So I'm going to crop this one down a little bit more too. So that is one way that you can quickly crop a lot of images to what is going to be close. And then you go through and um, fine-tune them after that. And that is a really quick way of cropping a whole lot of photos at the same time. I hope you uh, hope this helped.